This is Coastal Rising. Two years after the tsunami, the people's story. The community in Kenya in the Trincomalee district has a serious unemployment problem. Education and employment opportunities were both hard hit by the tsunami and the conflict. But today, things are looking up with the establishment of a vocational training center that has already seen success in bringing down the unemployment rate. A mechanized ferry service links mainland Trincomalee with the town of Kenya. Consisting of a predominantly Muslim populated cluster of villagers, Kenya was badly affected by the tsunami. 400 people lost their lives. Decades of war had already taken a toll on Kenya, the unemployment rate for youth being as much as 25%. This was the background for establishing the Kenya Institute of Industrial Technology in 2006 to provide guidance and professional training for youth in the area. According to our knowledge, there are more than 40 students who have passed out from here and found employment abroad. The others have set up successful business ventures in the country. Besides that, there are students who are working for other business establishments. The approximately 15,000 youth in Kenya have had few options for vocational training in the past. Only around a thousand students generally sit the O-level examination, with a further 750 making it to the advanced level. Even less attempt to pursue higher education. The Kenya Institute of Industrial Technology caters to those who remain, who must also secure a means of livelihood for themselves. The institute was established with the support of the Jamaica-based NGO, Helping Hands of USA. Trainees at the Kenya Institute of Industrial Technology can follow instruction in a number of trades. Industrial wiring, motor mechanism, welding, plumbing, air conditioning and refrigeration, aluminium fabrication and computer studies. An institution like this being initiated in Kenya is commendable because it is not easy for us to go to faraway places to study. Classes are conducted free of charge for tsunami-affected children. This is more useful for us than for the boys. It must be continued so that more children who can't afford to pay will benefit. With courses of 3 to 12 months duration, youth from tsunami-affected families and school leavers with limited future prospects for higher education are given priority at the institute. KIIT is hugely beneficial to the Kenya area. Applications to enroll at the school even come from outside Kenya and the board is considering their admission. The institute offered courses free of charge to tsunami affected students during the first phase. This is something to be commended. The government supports us in various ways as well. The relatively peaceful years of the ceasefire agreement and the reconstruction that was required after the tsunami were all opportunities for youth from the institute's first batch of students to embark on vocational enterprises. There were many candidates for the interview when we applied. Classes were conducted for six months. After completing the course in six months, I applied to various posts. I got the opportunity to do this because I followed this course. There are about 15 people working and our monthly income is about 100,000 to 200,000 rupees. I also do other things, so I earn a good income. While youth trained at the Kenya Institute of Industrial Technology have not found it difficult to obtain gainful employment in their various areas of specialization, the institute has had a significant impact 
of reducing unemployment in the villages of Kenya. But Kenya's location in Trincomalee makes it vulnerable to tension and conflict. Only long-term peace will help the residents of this historical town truly recover from the impact of the tsunami and develop their lives for the future.